first horse was a, uh, he cost $900. I worked all summer in a, uh, my dad owned a heating and air conditioning company in Midland, Texas, and I worked with them all summer, saved this cash, and I remember I've actually got a picture of my house. I had nine $100 bills and I spread them out on the floorboard and took a picture of it because I knew that was probably be the last time I ever saw $900. And I felt like I was rich and then I took it. There was a horse for sale in the, what they call the Thrifty Nickel in West Texas and not a team roping horse, a horse. So we drive over to this lady's house and she's got him for sale for $1,200. And I asked her before I even drove over there if she would be interested in 900 cash. So I took it over there when we pull up, this horse is eating dog food on her back porch. She's literally standing on the back porch, like walked up the steps of her trader house, was standing on the back porch eating dog food. So she was telling me what a pet he was and that he, they had run barrels on him, they had roped calves on him, all this stuff. And I'm here to tell you they hadn't done really much of anything but let him eat dog food. And I think that would have been a better name for him as dog food than Chance. But we named him Chance because I knew I was taking the chance on him when I bought him. Uh, spent all $900. And when I tell you, when I tell you that I was driven, I'm not sure this horse wasn't more driven than I was, cause, than I was, because he was determined that we were not going to get in the box and rope a steer. And I think that that's where a lot of my drive and my effort came from, because now I had a whole new competition, and the competition was between me and my horse to try to do what I wanted to do or do what he wanted to do. And about 50% of the time he won the battle, and the 50% of the time that I won the battle, I got to rope. So. I was determined to get him to 100% a team roping horse and finally did it. It literally took years. Uh, I remember one time backing him in the box after a lot of struggle and he took a deep breath. I mean, this is gonna sound like a made up story, but I promise you it's true. He took a deep breath and quit right there and just gave it up. So from then on, we were, we were partners <laughs> and I took him everywhere I went. He was rough. Uh, he loped around like looked like a jackrabbit all four feet off the ground at the same time every time he took a stride he wasn't very athletic he wasn't very good but in the end he was a warrior that son of a gun got me lots of team roping runs and helped better me and helped me learn how to ride you talk about one that was hard to stay on his back all the time he was he was good for me in the long run it's amazing how some of those things that seem so bad are really some of the things that work out the best for you in the long run